653 now. Welcome back to Daybreak. It's already mid-July and the midpoint of summer. For some, it means you're full stride into fishing, hiking, and enjoying the great outdoors. For others, it can be the time we get a bit panicked that the relatives are coming. Now what? And yeah. This morning, we offer up some hidden gems that will give your visiting friends and family and you a better appreciation of Alaska. Here to help, Anita Nelson with Visit Anchorage. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. So whether first timers to Anchorage or repeat visitors, you have a few recommendations for lesser known spots to pique people's interest. So where do we start? Uh, I would suggest starting at the Ship Creek Hatchery. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great place to not only understand what the role of salmon is within our statehood, but you can actually get a first glimpse um, the Ship Creek Hatchery is located at on Reeve Boulevard, right before the Jay Bear entrance. And if you go in July, you can actually probably catch a glimpse of either coho or Chinook salmon as they are coming up towards the fish ladder. It wasn't until I was, uh, you know, searching around to find some good file video of the hatch that I realized how cool it was. And people may not realize it's it's the largest indoor sport fish hatchery in North America? It is, that's right. They have over 100 fish tanks that display salmon throughout their various stages of life, and they can produce up to 6 million sport fish a year in that particular facility. The facility was actually named after William Jack Hernandez, and you can learn more about his role and how and during his retirement, uh, he was actually a World War II veteran and prisoner of war, and during retirement, he was very big on fish rearing practices, and so you can learn more about his history as well as see some really salmon-inspired artwork, mm -hmm. which is displayed in the fish hatchery. Well, speaking of history, for all those history buffs out there, there's an attraction for them, too. There is. It's called the Alaska History Walk, and it starts at the 7th Avenue parking garage, just kitty corner from the Denina Center. And from there, you can see it chronicles the Alaska statehood from 1867 all the way to 2009, and it was instituted as part of the 50th anniversary statehood. So if you're looking for, I mean, we have to bring it up, that must-have selfie. There's that <laughs> I iconic spirit of Alaska totem. Seat in a lot of photos, but honestly, I don't know where it's located. So where, where do you find this? It is. It's all about the what you're going to post on yeah, social media, uh -huh. right? Uh, so it's called the Spirit of Alaska Totem, and it's down where the Anchorage markets and festivals are held, which is at the corner of 3rd and E. And word on the street is that it's actually going to gain some stature this summer, and it's going to get a eagle's nest on top. So that's Higher, bragging huh? rights right there. Okay. Oh, there you go. Well, if you need a stop that has a little something for everyone, there's a place for that. There is, the Alaska Public Information Land Center. Um, and that's really kind of a hidden gem, as we were talking about, because it's in the unassuming old federal courthouse building, kitty corner from the Log Cabin Visitor Information Center. And there you'll often see rangers outside, and they usually have like bear hides or caribou skins or antler sheds. Um, and then if you go inside, they've got everything from the Junior Ranger Program to 3D maps of the Alaska Range. And if you're a local, you can get your state park pass there. Wow, so I've only done myself one of four. So I want to thank you for uh, bringing those options to the table for us uh, and to our viewers and hopefully their families. We can, get, we can get more information through Visit Anchorage? Yes, absolutely. You can come to the Log Cabin Information Center. Our information center is at the airport, or you can go to anchorage.net. But I encourage you to go out and explore as a local. It's great to find those new finds. And when you're visiting friends and relatives are here, it makes it even more memorable. All right. Anita, thanks for being here on this Travel Tuesday.